we love to know which fragrances attract men but it's also important and fun to know which fragrances repel them so I have mr scented here with me today and he's gonna give us the lowdown on which ones are a no-go for guys i'm not a fragrance hater like i don't love to hate fragrances but there's certain things i just don't like yeah, we'll get through it. There were some consistencies. We spent all morning basically sniffing my collection and ones that like I know he wouldn't generally like. So we created this list together out of 600 plus fragrances I have and a whole bunch of samples. Like it took some digging and these were the worst ones of all according to Mr. Scented. I think your most hatest, and I only have a lotion, is Le Labo and this is Tenoir. My favorite. I love this from the whole Lulabo collection. This is one that he and I are not on the same page about because I actually really like a lot of Lulabo fragrances and he hates them all. This one and another one the most. Do you want to talk about it? I think what you need to understand about this one is it's really intense. I do like figs. I don't like fig scents for whatever reason, but even more so like as a scent, it's okay. But having it on a woman, like it's very intense. It's it's just not like an intimidating intense kind of way, but it's it's a lot And then that combined with me just not liking fig scents. But yeah, this is like probably as bad as it gets for me, really I thought that as bad as it gets is my favorite combo <laughs> Well, that's true once you add no, that is this this combo over here anything that has Sandalwood for me is just bad. I don't know why I never even knew it was sandalwood before I guess you told me and you're like, oh, you just hate Sam Dill Wood. Yeah. This is BDK Gris Charnel, by the way. I love this combo. So me personally, I've been raving about it all over my social media platforms of Tenoir plus Gris Charnel for a rainy day is just ugh, goals for me. He smells it. He's like, this is as bad as it gets. It's really intense. Like it's, it's a lot. Like explain intense. What do you mean? Is it like an extra super strong black tea? It is. If you just turn down the like concentration, I guess, if you just watered it down, like what most people don't want is for like a watered down fragrance that doesn't last a very long time. But if you just did that, it might be better. But the way that it is, is just a concentration is too much. And especially on like a woman too, you know how men sometimes can pull off more like darker, smoky kind of stuff. Like it's very, not that I would wear it cause I'm just not really into it. But on a woman especially, it's like a bit like, whoa, you know? Like it's bad whenever you wear it, like it's just so strong. Then I'm like, Ugh, it's like way too much, really. I mean, yeah. Cool. Uh, we also don't like Lulabo Centel 33. Do you want to talk about that? We no. pulled a. Well, I thought I thought we pulled a dupe. What happened? Zara's Energetically New York, which would be the closest that we have right now to Centel 33, would be a really both of them doesn't matter. Would be a great example of another one that I just cannot do. I think I'm one of those people that just smells dill like a lot of dill in sandalwood and it's no longer like a nice woody kind of smell for me it just turns into dill and i love dill that's the weird part on food yeah on food that's a hard no on you on anybody like i never wear this no. i i really also don't like santal 33 or that general scent profile and there are so many fragrances out there right now that do have that type of scent profile so i think that just as a category in and of itself is just a repelling scent to you. So like, not to trash Lilabo as a brand, but that as a brand is just like not a safe go if you're trying to attract the men's, right? Yeah, and especially for beginners. Like, I don't know if, I'm not necessarily a beginner. Like I haven't, I don't know too much about fragrances, but I have at this point smelled enough to I think have a more developed nose than your average person. But for beginners, like definitely no. Don't do it. You're just like, you're not going to like it. You really won't. Tay Mach is probably the safest of the ones because it's very airy. It's nice. It's airy. It's not too intense. I can actually enjoy that one, but the rest of them, it's tough. I don't know if it's going to be a safe blind buy for anybody. I really like Tay Matcha myself. I think it's a really nice like fig kind of like earthy tea scent that is, like he said, airier. It's lighter and it's more friendly and like, I think less repelling to people that are new to niche scents. Let's go in a different direction. So we've already established that we're not, by we, I mean he, not a fan of sandalwood, not a fan of fig, but also as a repelling type of scent profile. Yeah, we find our way into this general territory, which I guess you could say is a very sweet, dense, 
caramelly, vanillic type of scent. Yeah, just awful. And there's so many of them. Yeah. So many of them. Now, first of all, this particular one, like, this Can, is... We have to introduce it, actually. The fan favorite, like, the YOLO Kid Special Sol de Janeiro um, 62, the Caramel Pistachio. I don't hate it. It's the only one that I have that's in that scent category. I personally don't really like those dense scents myself, and he also. It's, okay, so it's plastic, right? Okay, well, this sprayer is like sunscreen. But that's the idea. They're supposed to be kind of beachy, light, enjoyable scent. You it's just bad. don't. You just don't like the scent profile. No. Sweet, nutty, caramelly, deep, intense. Yeah, you can't do it in the summer. You can't do it in the winter. For me, I just hate this. Like, I don't want to smell this on anybody. It's too dark. It's too intense. I would love to, like, get almost a, like a pina colada or something. You know what I mean? There's a fragrance and there's a scent. This is more like a scent, but it's not a fragrance. Right. You also wouldn't like Elisab Girl of Now, like a very sweet, nutty type of scent. Like, you just don't like very sweet, sticky smelling. No, for me, no. For no, I'm, I, I don't like smelling that on, on anybody. This one's probably one of the worst ones in that category. And I know probably a lot of you like it. I hate it. Uh, here's one that's usually very loved. We touched on it in one of our earlier videos. You didn't like it. We're going to talk about why we don't like it, why you don't like it. It's Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. I used to hate it, and then on my skin now, like, I don't mind it, but it's a very occasional scent. Yeah, this particular one is also kind of around that same category. Well, it just smells like a sticky, melted marshmallow on your skin that you just dragged along. Not bad as a, as a scent, but, like, it's just not a fragrance. I, I don't know how to explain the difference between that. There's a lot of scents I like, but they just don't work as a fragrance, right? Like, a lot of gourmand stuff is like that. Love the scent, but... A fragrance is not like one particular thing. A fragrance has to be a good blend. Yeah. But it's not a good blend and you just feel like it's one thing. That's a scent. And a scent, I don't want to wear them all the time. I would love for any men watching this video to comment and let us know how you feel about gourmand fragrances. Like, Are you like him that you absolutely do not like sticky, sweet, food-like scents like as a sexy, attractive scent? Or is it the opposite? Are you actually drawn to that? Because as far as I know, you are not like the average man in that sense. From my knowledge, I think most men do really like sweet scents on women, but I would love to hear you guys' feedback. Since we're sticking to gourmands, here's like the gourmandiest of all gourmands. It's a actually really good photorealistic type of like bakery, like chocolate croissant type of scent. And this is Sniff Crumb Couture. This as a candle for me would be like goals. But I do think that it is very, very, very sweet. And you really don't like it. Sure, as a candle, you walk into somebody's house and you're almost like, ah, they just like pulled something fresh out of the oven and it's a bit like, great. Yeah. Don't want it on me. Right. Like it is such a weird scent to have on you. Like if I smelled that on you walking around, I wouldn't be like, ooh, you like smell like a delicious croissant. I'd be like kind of like weirded out. Like did you just walk out of a, a bakery or <laughs> another situation of like a scent that I enjoy, but it's not a fragrance. It's, it's yeah. really not. Another fig scent that he's not a fan of is Fig Infusion from Essential Parfums. Generally, I think a very good fig scent, good performing, um, you know, long lasting and they have really natural ingredients, but he hates it. Yeah, this could be a whole list of like me not liking fig. It is basically. This is like fig and like dill put together too. It's just brutal. And back to sandalwood. Also, if you think he would like a creamy sandalwood, false. He does not. Zadig and Voltaire, this is her. Not a vibe. But it's weird because this one is compared to Balda Freak, which he loves on me. Mm, okay, but no, it's not. This is probably the most airy version of sandalwood that I can kind of enjoy. And I see why maybe it might be Balda Freak comparable even though i don't really think it is it's okay but still I, I can't do the sandalwood okay well let's move away from sandalwood and fig we've established you don't like sandalwood or fig and they're repulsive to you let's <laughs> move along to something new oh something new and also bad mugler's angel yeah you've you've worn this one a couple of times and even though i kind of want to like it because there's something airy and like fresh about it it's like dirty it's like a dirty it's not airy or fresh. It's actually really sweet and fruity, though. So, okay. In dirt. Yeah. Like, roll it around in dirt a little bit, and I wish I didn't have that, because I feel like I could like it. And chocolate. And a bit of rubber. Do people talk about that? I think the newer formulation has a bit of a rubbery vibe. I remember the old, original Angel, which was, like, one of the fragrances that made me fall in love with fragrance. 
that I thought was just like so cool and edgy. That didn't smell like rubber at all. That one smelled pretty amazing. Yeah, I believe that, but yeah, rubber and look, rubber. What if I wore that on a first date? Would you go out on a second date with me? No. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Sure. Uh, oh, how about this one? Would you go on a second date if I wore this one? No. <laughs> this is Kenzo Jungle Elephant, by the way. I love cinnamon, but not like that. Another situation where the scent itself, no problem, but it's just a weird blend. Yeah, it's super strong. This is yeah. like an elephant walked into the room. Like It is very intense. It is strong, spicy. Like I like it for the fall, winter vibes. Mm. But I can see how it's like, uh, one spray too much, and you're already dying. If you wore it, and I smelt it on a first date or whatever the case is, I wouldn't initially go to like, oh, uh, you know, she smells nice. I'd be confused, and in my head, I would be thinking like, what is that? Like, is she supposed to smell like that? Or like, <laughs> honestly, it would confuse me. We're getting close to the end. Uh, I picked this up recently. This is Hermes L'Ombre de Merveille. This has tea, incense, and the same sort of DNA like the whole Eau de Merveille collection, but with added smokiness. And I think it's actually quite good, but you did not like it. I think most of um, most of their stuff I like, but this one was weird. I don't know how to describe why I don't like it. There was a fluff. It's from a dandelion. Oh, it's so hard. Why I don't like it, but it's just not... Is it too smoky for you? There's it like, in, does it remind you of a church? Is it incense? It's just like a chemically mess. And it's a bit intense, a bit too dark. It needs to be more airy. Like water that down to like 50%. I think the pattern is too, like you don't like very strong, powerful, intense scents. Because no. most of these are actually really strong fragrances with a presence. You have to be careful with that. Yeah. Even a good scent when you're overdoing it, it's not going to be great. There's a couple more, and then I want to quickly touch on fragrances that I thought he would hate, that he actually was like not offended by. But this one he really didn't like, and he thought it was Fig, because the name says Figment. And he's like, is this a joke? Like, this definitely has Fig, but no, it actually doesn't. It's a white floral, very intense white floral from Amouage, called Figment Woman. Lily, Pepper, Tubrose, I think... This one's brutal. Like, it's such a dirty flower smell. Like, that's I don't know if that's what it would... If you just take a bunch of flowers together and let them like, not fully rot because it's not that, but a dirty flower mess. Like it's got this weird like sour kind of thing to it. It's not like a beautiful flower. I don't know what they were going on with that or what the idea was, but it's just like bad. And the last one is a cheapie and I think it's discontinued and hard to find now. And it is Sarah Jessica Parker Stash. This is a woody scent as well that you didn't like, but I think yeah. the main note is cedar wood. Would you wear that? No. Okay, so you know. just don't like it at all, not just for women. Yeah, it's a, I think that's the wrong execution of cedarwood and just like woody notes in general. It's kind of like an alcohol, like I don't know, rum or, or, or whiskey or something combined with some sort of wood, which is interesting and intriguing, but the execution is just not right. But you wouldn't want to smell it on me or any women, no. but you would potentially wear it. Like yeah, a... for men, yes. For women, absolutely not. Mm. I feel like maybe a, a guy's cologne rubbed off on you or something. I can see that because this one is actually pretty masculine, I think. Yeah, but it's weird. It's just, I don't know. Something about that boozy, woody, gone wrong. I don't know if they just didn't like them together properly, but that's what it smells like. Yeah. So that's that. And then to kind of touch on some fragrances that I'm pretty sure you wouldn't like and we discussed, but obviously I don't own them because I myself also don't like them. Anything with coconut? You said you don't like coconut. Yeah, bad. Mm -hmm. When it starts getting into that sweet, dense, coconut, vanilla kind of thing that a lot of people like, that's just the worst, really. Yeah, you don't like vanillas, but the vanillas that I have, he actually really likes, even including Kayali's Vanilla 28, which I thought he wouldn't like because that's to me like a straight up kind of like a vanilla extract type of scent. He said it's not bad. It's just, yeah, he didn't he didn't find it repulsive at all, but yeah, yeah. I can like a lot of vanillas, just not when it's in that typical like, I think they'll usually try to advertise them as like a beach vacation vanilla and it'll just uh, be like this much sugar with like that much vanilla and coconut and like mm -hmm. cherry or whatever. And it's just so 
dark and like dense and uh, it's the worst, no. So we've covered a lot in this video, a lot of his opinions, but just to wrap everything up, generally scent profiles that men find unsafe, potentially repulsive, would include, would you say, really spicy, intense fragrances? Yeah. Really deep, vanilla, sweet, heady gourmands? Yeah. Uh, fig yep. in all shapes and sizes. Yeah. Sandalwood and yep. other intense woody scents. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else you want to touch on? No. That's a pretty good summary of like just what doesn't do it for me. Anything in those kind of branches, I'm just not a fan of. And also, I thought he wouldn't like Levy Bell or Black Opium or Carolina Herrera Good Girl. And guess what? He doesn't mind them. He actually, he's like neutral about them. So those are fine. I think generally women are good to go with those those are favorite picks for people just kind of like starting to dabble in fragrances and my personal opinions aside like they seem to be decent safe picks so those even though seem to fall into a category of really sweet or vanillic didn't bother him at all actually kind of like them so i'm not a that. hater i can see both sides of it only some of them are kind of not safe for me at all but i'm very open yeah. So this is just a guideline. Obviously, all men are different. All noses are different and everybody likes different things. That's what makes fragrances so fun. Wear what you love and we hope you guys found this video fun and helpful and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Even though what I thought was a safe one, like te matcha, I, we, we got a whole sampler over Christmas. I thought, what a treat. We're going to go through everything. We're going to find like what we both love. And it was just a major flop because like he didn't like anything except the labdanum one. It just wasn't it just wasn't happening they're very intense combinations that like you probably have not smelled before so everything is going to be very new everything is very intense um so it's hard it's well this was a lot better yeah but when i wore it you still didn't like it what i would like is for somebody to make because i want to like fig and i do like figs themselves to make a version of fig that I could enjoy because I think it's out there. I think it exists and nobody's done it and I wouldn't know how to do it, but like I'm open to that. If yeah. anybody can even comment, if there's something like I want airy, a nice fresh opened up with like a slight hint of fig, but not like a full on that. Just don't give me that. Sure. Well, I guess the closest would be that te matcha from Lulabo. That's yeah. the closest so far, but you still don't love it. I don't love it and I'm open to more because it's not full fig that one either, I, I feel. Yeah.